Hi, this is Marilyn from MacFusion. Today we're going to do a quick video on handling attachments in Apple's mail application. While most of you may know most of these things, um, occasionally when we're giving lunch and learn uh, presentations to businesses, I'll show a trick and people will be like, what? And so I thought, you know, maybe there's just some things that some people don't know. So, you know, you may know it all, but go ahead and forward this on to somebody that may need some extra help. So one of the first ways that I like to do attachment is just dragging them onto the mail app itself. And that goes ahead and opens up a brand new mail app message with your attachments already in there. Um, so see how this attachment attached as an image? And you'll notice I can attach another one and it'll attach as an icon. Um, I haven't been able to find a rhyme or reason on why some files, and sometimes you'll see a JPEG that'll attach as an icon, or sometimes you'll see a JPEG that attaches as, you know, an inline image like it did here. Um, sometimes it can be really confusing if you're composing email message and you're trying to insert things into it and you don't want to see these giant attachments, you know, inline. So what you can do is you can right click or control click and then tell it to view as icon. Now keep in mind, just because you're viewing it as an icon, it doesn't mean that when you send it out, um, that the person on the receiving end is going to be able to um, see it as an icon only as well. Um, I have seen it where, you know, these attachments not only are viewed fully in line, but sometimes they're even embedded in the email itself. So um, if, if you really have to have it as the image, or as an icon and you don't want it displayed it as an image and people are having trouble, you can go ahead and, and compress it or save it as a zip file. And to do that, all you have to do is right click or control click on your, your document and then tell it to compress. And it'll do a little zip file just like that. And it'll always look like that no matter what kind of email application they're using. So we have a point of sale system that will create a new email with a with a quote or an invoice in it already and there's just times where you know I've already got an email composed and I just want to add an att that attachment to it so um, say I open it up and it automatically puts that in there but I want to add it to this email over here you just easily drag and drop and once again if you don't want to see it as the image in there click view as icon easy enough and then the other thing that we've seen quite a bit of is um, taking attachments for other emails that you've received. So, so you don't want to forward it on, you just want to forward one of these Im Im images. Once again, just drag and drop out of one email and into the other, and you are good to go. Um, and also, you can always attach the old way by using the little button, but you have to know a little bit of the um, directory structure, and that's that's fine for some of you, but some of you may not know where you've actually, where it's listed or where to find it. So yeah, you can just click, choose, right in line. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to keep up with this, please subscribe or follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash MacFusion, or follow us at mac-fusion.com, and we have a blog there. Thanks.